Oh, you're doing it. So somebody wanted to see my full workout routine all six days and it got me curious. Oh no, the sun. I want to know how long I actually work out for. Because usually my workouts are like 25 minutes, but actual workout time is probably closer to like five minutes. So we're going to time everything. I'll show you each of my six day workouts and let's have a little fun today. You're all you ever had to be. You're all you ever had to be. Take control of your life. You can't be mad at me. So my current regime, I have six different exercises that I do on six different days. So we start today with pull day. It's pull day today. And what I've been doing, and I love this so much, and I know it can get awkward for people, but I work out six days in a row, and then I take two days off. So I work out for six days, two off, six days, two off, and keep repeating that. Instead of the one day, I felt like I wanted to. I like two days off. Just completely forget about exercise. Did my arm just flabble in the wind? I'm not fat. I'm not skinny fat. You're skinny fat. So I follow the convict conditioning program. You can get the link down below. Affiliate sales. Oh my god, I make 10 cents for every copy, I think. That's like half a mango. Or the appeal. So I'm going to film all my workouts and time them to know how much time I actually work out for. And I'll speed it up so this video's not 7 hours long. So my warm up, I just hang there for a bit. I hung for like 30 seconds. Get the shoulders all lubricated. Now we're doing the one-armed pull-ups with the wrist support, wrist-ups. That's what I like to call them. And I ain't gonna lie, I am struggling to keep my grip. I just can't do it. I did two and then I lost my grip. I just, I can't do it on this thick-ass bar. I can't do it. So I need to find a better bar or just become a man somehow. Then I went across the park. I saw these little ones, these little rings hanging, but they were too thin. So first the too thick, then the too thin. These ones actually hurt. These were hurting bad. So I end up doing a couple and then it was just like too painful on my fingers, too much pressure on those joints. So we got five reps the first set, three reps the second set. And that beat my record last week of four and two. So we're improving, but you could maybe not count any of these since I touched the ground on a lot of them. For the third set, I like to do something different and I invented a new move. I'm calling it the daredevil chin ups. And you do a chin up and then you let go with one hand and try to hold on with all your might. Just let it go and try to slow it down. Try to be in control. But I drop like a sack of bricks. I drop like a sack. It just, I can't hold myself up there, but that's what you do. You do the one pull up with both arms all the way up and you let go with one hand and then try to hold on until the bottom. Let go before your arm gets straight. You don't want to like have all that momentum rip your arm off out of your shoulder socket. So let go before you go straight. I might add these to the book depending on if I see any results on them. They should help though with the one arm pull up progression. So I did 10 of those and then just a couple more chin ups until I failed. Just a little failure in life. So what can we take away from what you just witnessed? A couple things. Number one, Holy shit, I can't grip that thick one. Is that what she said? I've, I've never been told that. Those are just so difficult. So maybe it'll be better on a, a perfect size bar, but I don't know. Those are just so hard to keep the grip. I keep losing it. And the thin one was so painful. So we got 
6 minutes and 29 seconds total workout time and 21 minutes 7 seconds for total elapsed time. So I started that as soon as I started my warm up and I stopped it as soon as I finished the stretching. So 21 minutes total for pull day. Might as well do a before and after weigh in. So this is after the first workout. We're like just over 65. I'd say 65 or 65 and a half, depending on, yeah. So I'll try to reach 70 kilos by the end of the week. So it's bridge day here at the Vegetable Police Network. And these are the most beneficial exercise there is to the back. I used to have so much back pain. The lower back hurt. The upper back was like hunched over. I was a hunchback. And I started doing these. I'd never done them in my life. And I read about them and I was like, okay. Because we're constantly forward. Leaning over your phone. You got phone neck. Oh, Facebook. Oh, F U T. We never do the opposite and stretch back. We never do that. So ever since I started doing these, my back pain went away and I'm just so much more flexible. Look at these two pictures. This is my first attempt at the bridge like a year and a half ago. That's as high as I could go. My arms like 90 degree angle. I couldn't stretch them more. I kept getting comments like you have to stretch your arms out straight. I was like, this is straight for me. This is the best I can do. And now look at me. I'm more curved, I'm much more flexible. So that's what I focus on in these bridge movements is just trying to increase my flexibility. They're hard. It is a strength-based workout, but I look at it like it's time to loosen up your back, regain the flexibility you once had as a child. So let's get into the bridges, shall we? So here we are. We're just starting that old timer there. Get that time going, see how long we work out for today. So. I do not warm up for these because I feel like this is my warm up. This is my stretch. We're just stretching out that back. Back breaking labor they say. That can't be good. So we just reach back to the wall, walk ourselves down slowly, and focus on the flexibility. Just try to stretch your back as much as possible in every movement. Try to stretch your arms as straight as possible, and we push ourselves back up the wall and fly up to the top and we just keep doing those so the goal for these is two sets of eight i got that a long ass time ago and i'm afraid to move on from these we'll talk about that later but i find these are just so great for the flexibility so i just i keep doing them until i'm ready for the next step there ain't no rush here So we got a better angle for this time, so you can see the curve in my back, reaching back there slowly. I used to be much less flexible in this position, so each week I get a little stronger and a little more flexible, and that is the goal. It is a tough workout. It's a full body workout. You feel it everywhere. I tell you, I just start sweating after the first eight. I'm sweating profusely. Now for my bonus set, I just do this for fun. I do the regular bridges, just as a, like a strength-based movement for my back and my arms, and to increase the flexibility even more. I just, I wanna see how tight I can get it. How much of a curve can my spine curve, curvy land? So I just keep on doing this. The goal for me is 20. We reached that last week. We'll see if we can do it again this week. But see how much more curved I am. That flexibility really has increased.
Never stretch before your workout, stretch after. You wanna warm up before, exert yourself, and then stretch after. So bridge day definitely a little longer, 12 minutes and 15 seconds total workout time, and total elapsed time 25 minutes and 28 seconds. I've been doing those for 15 weeks now. The next exercise after this is where you fall freely, no wall, straight to the ground. And I'm not ready for it mentally. It's just, it's too much. So I'm building my strength and flexibility up as much as possible with these wall walkers, zombie makers. So I just, I wanna make sure I'm confidently able to slowly lower myself back safely. So I can do it against the couch. I've tried that. I can get down to the couch, but I think I will try on a hill. I need to find a grassy hill and then we fall back on the hill so it's not a straight drop to my death on the floor. So today is handstand push-up day. It's one of my favorite exercises just because it's so I don't know, impressive. Is that the word? It's just like the goal, the eventual goal is a one-armed handstand push-up. It almost doesn't seem possible. But there's a mountain of possibility for us all. So right now I'm on the half handstand push-up. You only go halfway from your head to the floor, halfway. So it's a half movement, and then we move on to the full one. But I've been here for a few weeks, so let's see if I can beat my records today. So here we are warming up. We just do a little handstand for a few seconds. I go about 30 seconds. Just get the hands and arms and shoulders nice and tingly. Just tingle your life up a little bit. So I put a box down. Now I'm used to doing these with my hair just touching the tip of that box. And I have no hair now. So I'm going a little lower than usual. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I you go from half to like a quarter way to the ground, you're almost there. It's like a progression series, so I didn't do as many reps as last week. The synergistic wisdom is wisdom. Because it is a little harder. The lower you go, the harder it is. The eventual goal is to go all the way down till your head touches the ground. So we're just doing half reps here. So for handstand day, we got four minutes and 17 seconds and total elapsed time, 19 minutes and 16 seconds. So definitely not as many reps as last week, but we went further down. So it's tough to gauge my strength. Am I stronger than last week? I went further down, but less times. I don't know, we won't know until next week and we beat that. So that is handstand day, great day for handstands. So another day has passed. We're out in the park. This is where I come for pull day and leg raise day because I need a bar. All the other exercises I can do at home. So we're on the master step here of the leg raise. Like it doesn't get any harder than this. This is the master step and I still haven't gotten to my rep range goal. Two sets of 20. So we'll see if we can beat it today. Starting that old timer there. Leg raise day is upon us. So the goal with these, get your body into a 90 degree angle. Pause at the top for a second. I know it's not a full second. Get a life. I don't criticize you at work, do I? No, I don't. So that's the goal, but you will see as the sets go on, I don't hold very high up there. Sometimes I don't even make it up there. So let's be real with ourselves. Just do the best you can. We got a couple pauses. Sometimes the swing gets out of control. You gotta just like recenter yourself. Nothing wrong with that. So second set, I was struggling on this one. I don't know what the heck happened. I kept taking little pauses. I was like, all right, keep it together here. We're trying to make a show here. 
But yeah, I was struggling with that second set. I still beat my rep range from last week, but not so strict were the reps. A little adjustment on the swing there. That's fun times. I forgot to bring my stopwatch today, but I timed it. It was 8.47 when I started and then 8.59 when I stopped. So if you do the basic math, 75 minutes. So 12 minutes total elapsed time, three minutes, 35 seconds actual workout time. So that's my shortest workout day so far, ab day. I was dying there. At that second set, I killed it on the first set. And then the second one, I'm like, my stomach's failing me. It's failing me. But man, what an ab workout. You could crack a hammer on these abs. Okay, we gotta touch the closey leaf that closes when you touch it. Oh, I'm sorry. No, oh, you closed. I'm so sorry for wasting your energy, little plant. But you're so cool. I forgot to stretch. I usually don't stretch after those. I don't know why. I just feel like I don't need it. There. Add a second on to that time. So, that's it. Leg day done. It's so easy. I love this program so much. Like. You don't even gotta try. You go out for a nice walk, oh, do a couple sets, boom, you're done for the day. So, and if you're wondering what the old abs look like, I have some. Bad lighting. It's, it's all about the lighting. It's not flubber. So I'll see you tomorrow for leg day, dreaded leg day plot twist. I'm dry fasting today, so I'm not gonna work out. Sometimes I just get sporadically called to do a dry fast. Whenever I'm like, I feel like I'm not thirsty, I'm like, okay, I could dry fast today. So I just do it. So I started yesterday, 4.30 p.m. was my last drink of water. It's the next day, so we'll see how long I can go. My longest fast was 64 hours. So if I could beat that, cool. So I will not work out for the duration of this fast. And then I pick up where I left off. My workout program is not the boss of me. I broke the dry fast after 24 minutes. I couldn't take it. 24 hours in, I was like, I'm done. So I drank water. I'm gonna attempt a leg day. I don't know how good this is gonna go, but, and I'm eating late after, so this is gonna be weird, but it's leg day. Welcome to leg day. We're at the master step, the pistol squat. And I have another set after that's special. It's a flamingo squat. I'll teach you. So here we are. We're just warming up with some regular squats there. Get your butt down to the ground like an orangutan would if he was looking for milk in a lake. You're excellent. It's good to do. So here we are with the first pistol squat. Perfect form as usual here at the Vegetable Police Network. The, the railing grab there is it's allowed in the Afghani leagues of pistol squats, so I, that, that's how I do it. Yeah, we started off a little slow today. It was a dry fast day, so the brain not fully functioning, but we got it. We survived that one. We're at two reps. I switched the angle because I thought the balcony seemed a little lopsided. I didn't fall there. So we're just doing two sets of 20. So we're back for our second set, and we switch up the camera angle to keep things interesting. You may notice I'm spending a lot of time looking off to my left. That's because I saw a unique yellow parrot flying around that I've never seen before, and I liked it. It brought joy into my heart. My darkened black heart. 
it's lonely out here in Thailand, so I look for anything I can to find the, the love. Today was a bird. Now for the flamingo squat. Basically, you lean forward much like a flamingo would, and your left knee there touches the ground, and then you get back up. I've been doing these for years, only I couldn't get my knee all the way to the ground. I didn't even try it, but I'm much more flexible now. So these are great. They're not as hard as pistol squats, but they work the butt a lot more. They balance it out perfectly. They're the perfect complement to a pistol squat in my opinion. So do them both. Here we stretch. I'm sure I'm sweating enough for a dry fast. When my body had all this water to spare, I was dying of thirst half an hour ago. And now my body's just like, yeah, we had all that. We tricked you, we hit it, playing hide and seek with my water body, how dare you. So total leg time day, 21 minutes and 54 seconds. Total elapsed time, 34 minutes and 23 seconds. So that definitely took me a little while. I was taking my time. If you notice, I kept looking out to the left. It was because of that bird. I saw a yellow bird. There he is. Oh my God. It's like a parrot. Oh no. Where'd you go? He's chasing the other birds. He's chasing the other birds. That's too cute. He wants to get laid. I've never seen it before. And I was making excuses, just taking it easy. Sometimes these pistol squats just suck the life out of your mind. Like they're just so hard to get two sets of 20. I just take my time with it. My goal is to get them faster, the dogs, faster and slower and more perfect. Sometimes my heel touches the ground. That's not good. So working on perfecting my form to get strong. For those who think you can't build leg muscle with just calisthenics, I want to tell you, I used to be able to fit like this around my thigh at the thickest part. No problem, I could touch it easily. So that's how big my thigh used to be, like here. So like that all the way. It didn't go up. There was no angle there, it was just straight loser leg. So now we're up here like, if I'm actually flexing, it's like that's as far as I can get. So I've put on a good half an inch. That's a half an inch right there. I don't know if you could see any of that. I got the head thing. We're on the head thing. Karen and see. If I stand too close, they fly back. All right, I'm not going to wait for them. I'm going to go eat. I'm just having a big pile of morning glory greens and cashews and walnuts. Just simplifying my life. So tomorrow's the last day of our series, push day. So it's the final day, push day, and another plot twist. Yesterday should have been push day, but my buddy Brett came over, and instead of being an antisocial loser, I went out to lunch with him instead of working out. So I took a day off. The program's flexible. You want a day off? You take a day off. <laughs> Karen and Steve just come out. Jesus. So it begins push day. We have a little warm up here, just some regular push ups. Just do good push ups with good form. I'll do about 10 reps. Just push your way out of the way. All right, so we're on the lever push up, and these are not easy. These are not easy. These are my nemesis. It's interesting filming yourself because I notice my left arm's a little bent and it should be straight. Ideally, you can bring it in a little bit if you're struggling and then you bend the arm and it makes it a little easier. I didn't realize I was doing that subconsciously. So it's good to film yourself when you're doing your workouts. <laughs> I was so proud of that. I actually got 20 reps. That's the goal. That is the goal. But these are a little bent arm loser reps though. And you'll see this side. I always struggle with the second side. No matter which arm I start with, the next one, I just struggle. So you can see I'm taking some pauses at the top here. I'm like, oh my God, how am I gonna do this? It's not easy. 
It is not easy. Because the other arms work in the last rep, and here, yeah, not quite. Not quite, buddy. Almost. But I wanted to get the 20, so I just, no matter how long it took me, I was going to get 20 on the next arm, too. And there, <laughs> I invented a new move, apparently. My right leg shot right up in the air. I've never done that before in my life. And here it is again. It's just, I guess it helps me out. <laughs> I, so don't do that, but I did it. So what? So second set here. Left was a struggle today. I ain't even going to lie to you. I was just struggling the whole time. I took a little rest here. Yeah like in here you can do it buddy you can do it. no no he can't do it i tried to do it but you take a little break rest get back at it get that rep we got it now i'm just staring in the mirror admiring my thunderhawk physique it's a wonderful physique the ego's taken over me there's nothing i can do about it now so i just finished the set with some elevated push-ups Feet up on the bed, do them straight, keep those elbows tight to the body, no flaring of your elbows. And we just do as many as we can. Taking a little rests here. Just eke out as many as you can do. So there it is. There's push day. Little stretch. Stretch it out. You earned it. Total actual workout time, 9 minutes and 55 seconds. Total elapsed time, 41 minutes and 46 seconds. Well, I think that takes the cake for the longest workout. Possibly the hardest, too. Those one-handed ones. I just, oh. I now know. I'm aware of my ghetto-ass reps. What was I doing? The balancing one with one arm. That's never even happened before. The one arm flung back up into the air, trying to keep me from dying. So total time under tension for this week, 58 minutes and 25 seconds. And total actual workout time was 2 hours and 34 minutes. So that's how much I work out every week. My before weight was 65.5 kilograms, and the after weight is unknown. Alright, after weighing. Did he gain 5 kilos? I lost weight. I leaned out. It's a lean gains protocol. I lost seven pounds of muscle. Shit. But as you can see, I work out as little as three minutes a day and as much as 21 for actual workout time. And total elapsed time can be as little as 12 minutes or as much as 41 when you're up at those one arm push ups. Those are deadly. If you're an athletic person, I would love to hear your numbers. Do this for a week and tell me how long do you work out like time under tension and total time from your first warm up to the end of your stretches. I'd love to hear how long you guys work out. So that's my week. That is how I do it every week. So I will take two days off now, probably still, even though I took a day off yesterday, eh, have an extra two. Take a couple days off and then hit it again and try to beat my... Karen and Steve always flying around. Well, y'all don't like the videos? So I'll post a couple pictures. This is me after the workout. This is what I look like. Keep in mind, I have not taken any supplements now for like two, maybe two and a half weeks. No creatine, no nothing. So I'm not artificially pumped up like I was. And this is on like 40 to 50 grams of carbs a day. So my muscles just, this is my body on low carb not pumped up with muscle glycogen and water no water from the creatine this is just me if i carved up and added creatine for a week i'd be three times the size wouldn't even i wouldn't even be allowed to walk the streets here so to wrap things up just talk a little bit about the diet and then we'll get out of here what do i eat how do i recover 
so every workout is always fasted. I eat my meal around noon. So say I eat from noon to one. I'm done at one. I don't eat the rest of the night. I get a great night's sleep like that. It's like eight or nine hours before my last meal. So I sleep through the night, it's amazing. I wake up, I hydrate, do some stuff, drink a little coffee, and then I work out. It's my pre-workout caffeine boost. What the hell was that? A butterfly. So yeah, I'm still in a fasted state. Coffee has no calories, so it doesn't break the fast technically. It might lessen autophagy, autophagy. So who knows, who cares? So I fast and then usually I wait a little bit after my workout to eat. And then I eat my low carb vegan meal, 40 to 50 grams of carbs a day, not much. Sometimes it's a little higher. These cashews, they sneak up on you. I've had 90 grams a couple days, but low carb, we got plenty of energy to push myself off the ground. Love it, feel good, getting stronger every week. I do believe I got stronger with each workout. I beat each workout or maintained, so no backsliding. So that's always a good thing. So that's working for me. I don't need weights. I don't think I'm gonna add them until I'm master step at each exercise. And that then I'll debate adding like a weighted vest or something, but yeah. I really don't want to. I want pure calisthenics. I love that whole shit. Pure calisthenics all the way. So I'm gonna ride my bike now to go grocery shopping, get a bunch of bulk nuts and seeds, some veggies, and come back and probably eat and then chill out for the day. Good day. I shattered that. I got to the 20 reps on that one arm and then my other arm was like, are you kidding me? We're, we can't do what the other guy did. Don't ask us to do that. So I always struggle with that second arm. So thank you so much for watching. I know it's a long video, but if you're still here, thank you so much for sticking with me. And I will be writing, I'm still writing that Monkey Strength ebook that will have all this, the whole program and more. But I, I'm not gonna finish it until I can do that one-armed handstand push-up, so it might be a while. So it'll happen, it'll happen. I'll make a DVD series to go along with it. So cool, cool times. Thanks for watching the video. Consider giving it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down. If you work out in the sewers, you won't work out unless it's in sewer water. Because you need motivation to get away from it. Oh god. Oh god. Thumbs down if that's what you do. I think we're done here. So I sign up to the Patreon if you want to support me or get some t-shirts or music. Thank you for any of them. Or the hair growth shampoo. It works. I'll still use it. I plan on buying more. As soon as it runs out, I'll use it again. I love that stuff. Thick Master C hair. Alrighty. Okay, we're done. Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next